right, so we I finished treating her. Again, she hugged her left bent knee towards the right shoulder for two minutes. And I gave a little gentle overpressure. And uh, now we've got her back on her stomach on three pillows. And this is the left PSIS. I can now take up the slack. I see movement occurring through the structure. I can spring it. It springs and it bounces right back. And now I'm going to pull it down towards me obliquely and I can take up the slack and I can spring it towards me. And it bounces right back. Um, the sacral tuberous ligament. Now I indent it and it only indents about an eighth of an inch. The sacrum is no longer side bent. I can take up the slack. We did not treat the sacrum. We only treated the, the, the hemi pelvis on the left side. And here's the right lower sacral quadrant and we again did not treat that either and that I can now I can now take up the slack and I can spring it and it springs forward and it bounces right back so my curiosity um, is that she presented with a looked like the right leg was shorter in supine and in standing let me take these pillows out okay and Let's have you roll over onto your back. And I'm keeping your face out of the picture, preserving your privacy. Thank Maybe you. you're a foreign spy. <laughs> <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Good. I don't want to see my face. Yeah, the leg lights are so much better. You know, I see a tiny little difference. Very small. Scoot up a little bit so your heels are on the table. Okay, because it's easier to see if there's a little bit of the table exposed. So I'll let her husband come over and peek over my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so. I still see a subtle difference, but it seems less. But more importantly, more important is how you feel. And movement is more important than how things look. So when we see a pelvis, it looks uneven. Maybe that's how you're developed, or maybe there's a movement dysfunction that we can treat. So let's have you get down and walk around, walk down the hall and back, and then come sit in this chair. Any comments? Um, the right side seems to be a little weak. The right side feels a little weak. But then um, overall it's more balanced around the pelvis area. Okay, so the pelvis feels more balanced? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and sit. That's good. Your thoughts? Um, the right side, right, right lower corner of the sacrum seems to be still sinking a little bit. Okay, I'll look at you on the table and sitting and see if there's anything else, you know, mechanically going on. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel like, you, other than that, do you feel like you're sitting any differently? Um, it's not as, <coughs> as tort as felt before. Okay, yeah. so you felt twisted in sitting? You felt like the before. pelvis was twisted? Yeah. And you feel like that that's less? Yeah, that's less. Very good. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'll stop filming now and thank you. It's um, I appreciate this opportunity to film um, an oblique upslip. Um, you know, it's, it doesn't happen often. And it was interesting to learn that correcting the oblique upslip of the hemipelvis, mm -hmm. I don't know what else to call it. Um, so the Upslip is probably a result of an injury of the fall. Oh, yeah. Oh, I would certainly think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you had how many motor vehicle accidents? Um, three. 
Three, okay, so it could be that as well. Mm -hmm. um, and it was nice to demonstrate that treating the pelvis restored normal, what appeared to be normal position and normal mobility of the sacrum as well. So, I'll stop filming, thank you. <laughs>